Hi, it's Justin Prime. Welcome to episode 18 of the J Prime Cast. This is my attempt to hold myself accountable for the past week, for better or worse. That was, again, uh, Benjo Beats with Day Beers. Let's take a look at who we are talking to today. This is the last person in my Instagram feed, which is uh, a member of my Discord community, who I'm not going to dedicate it to, but I will say Life of a Whitfield. Thank you for popping up again and for being a part of the community, man. You're doing some good stuff. But today is dedicated to Spider-Man. He's the second to last person in my... uh, feed sorry about that trevor vasquez graphic designer concept artist artist lover of edm no idea what that is edm what is that man uh i'll keep it clean i won't make any inappropriate jokes um yeah spider-man trevor thank you for uh, following me and um you're, you're in my feed pretty frequently man i appreciate that for being an active follower uh whatever edm is is uh have a good time Stay safe. Uh, use protection. Uh, so that's who I'm talking to. Spider Main. Spider Main. All right, I got a bunch of announcements tonight. The first one is I I did a um, I'll call it an audio appearance. I'm not sure what else to call it for a, a podcast from Adam Messinger. It is called This Is Not Life. Uh, Adam Messinger. Oh man, what's his his Instagram? I think is just. Adam Messinger. I'll look at it while I talk. But he asked me to submit like a little audio, like 15 minute, um, I don't know, rant talk. And I did that. Okay, his 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 Instagram is Adam S. Messinger. I'll put it in the description. He has a podcast called This Is Not Life uh, with new episodes every Monday. Really? Wow. New new episodes Monday every Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Dang, man. That, that's what I was doing up until a couple of weeks ago that is impressive all right so yeah adam s messinger um this is not life it looks like it does some wrestling talk um lewis tillett that might be right, right up your alley i know you're listening to this um yeah so i i did i submitted a little audio segment um i was his first ever guest on the podcast which was an honor thank you very much for asking me to be a part of that, Adam. Um, so I, what I submitted was he asked me to talk about what it's like to be a writer and an artist at the same time, and uh, which takes priority is basically the question. And my answer was that they really go hand in hand. And uh, yeah, so I go in depth, um, really kind of off the top of my head. It was actually a lot of fun on my end. And uh, so yeah, give, give that a listen. Announcement number two, I am I don't know if I announced this last week, but I'm going to drop the tool segment Because this comes up, this might come up as I talk about, excuse me, my week and how things went on the production side of Astro Pig or whatever else I'm working on. So, uh, yeah, I'm not going to have a separate segment for the tools. Um, If something's really important, I'll definitely mention it. But, um, yeah. Announcement three. uh, Just something I want to do for someone who is uh, new to making comics and... Is really talented, in my opinion, as a writer um, and putting things together. There is a new book on Comic Central called Heavyweight Messiah. I was able to read it for free. It was it was free for a little bit, but now it's uh, four bucks. So if you didn't read it, you missed out on it for free. Heavyweight Messiah is really really good. I highly recommend it. I'm trying to find out who the, who made that. I don't. I should have looked this up beforehand. Dang, that sucks. Oh well. I guess I can. Sorry, I'm looking it up right now. So, Heavyweight Messiah. Oh, there we go. Rare rare Format Comics. Go on Comic Central, Heavyweight Messiah by Rare Format Comics. Um, I don't know the name. Oh, written by... Look at me. I'm getting stuff together here. Written by Benito and Dino. Uh, drawn, inked, colored by Nano Flavio Garon. The artwork is amazing. 
in this. I really, really, it's, it's super gritty. Um, and it's a perfect visual fit, I think, for the writing, which is ballsy. I, I'm not sure how else to put it. Um, it's about Jesus who comes back to earth and is <laughs> forgiving and saving people through boxing. I mean, it's just glorious. It's, it's really, it really is. You, you must read Heavyweight Messiah. I would say it's worth the four bucks. Uh, if you got four bucks, you know, I, yeah, I'd say it's worth, you know, skipping a coffee or a Big Mac or whatever. Um, definitely. Yeah. And putting that four bucks toward Heavyweight Messiah. That was a darn good book. Um, so, yeah, uh, Benito did a great job putting this together. And what was cool is I talked to him in DM. I really I really respect him as a creator because he was very open to feedback. And I, I was I was able to give him some some feedback about um, his lettering in particular. He took it like a champ, no pun intended. Actually, yeah, pun intended. That was on purpose. That was good. That was good. Uh, so yeah, Heavyweight Messiah, it's worth the four bucks. And just as a little extra plug here, uh, it's he currently has a Kickstarter going on for right now. So you can spend the four bucks and read it digitally or back him on Kickstarter um, as well to get the physical copy of it signed. And he's got like a t-shirt and prints and stuff. So yeah, Heavyweight Messiah, very much worth the read. I loved it. I, I'm, I'm really looking forward to issue number two. Um, yeah. Another announcement on a personal level. Uh, my 10th anniversary with my wife passed. Um, was it like last week? But we didn't celebrate it until this week. Just due to babysitting and finding the time. Um, so yeah, it was. Uh, we celebrated that today. We drove a few hours away to this like small touristy kind of town just to kind of hang out and eat and drink and drive and whatnot, not, not drink and drive, but you know, you know what I mean? Um, and it was cool. It was, it was fun. It was a perfect day, but uh, the place we went to was ridiculously expensive. So we didn't buy pretty much anything at all, except for a couple of books for, for our kids and toys for our stupid dogs. Um, yeah. This place was just very expensive, which I kind of prepared my, my, my mind for. Um, and I was prepared to buy a $50 steak and I was actually looking forward to it because it's always worth it. But uh, we ended up not even eating there because we had eaten on the way there at some awesome dive, this, this diner, which was amazing. And uh, so we just hung out and and browsed, didn't buy much of anything except for our kids and stupid dogs. And uh, I always have a hard time with at places that are like really expensive. I, I get really uncomfortable. I don't feel like I belong there whatsoever. Um, that's not how I was raised at all. So, uh, I still feel really weird in those environments and I was doing okay. You know, when I saw the, we were looking at shirts and there was one shirt or it was a pair of pants. that was like 150 bucks and there's no way I would ever spend that much money on pants. Um, but we, then we went and browsed into this dog store and it wasn't just like a pet co. It was like the yuppie hippie, uh, you know, Northern California, Napa Valley kind of douchebag dog owner store and they had books about dogs. They had a, they had, a, or a pets. They had one book called cat. What was it called cat wine, cats and wine or something like that. And it was pictures of cats with like wine and stuff. It's just, but what really tipped me over and drove me nuts. And I had to get out of the store was they had frozen dog treats. I don't know. That was just too much for me. And I said, I gotta go. I'll be, I'll be outside. I can't take this anymore. And we left shortly after that, but uh, it was a good time with my wife. Got to hang out with her and drive and, and just talk about stuff. It was cool. We we, we don't get much one on one time, so that was nice. Uh, yeah, you know, ten years we've been together. Ten years married, and before that we were together like six years, I think. Yeah, not bad, huh? We're doing it. Uh, another little announcement here is next week. I'll be next weekend. I will be going on a camping trip with my family. Uh, which will probably suck um, because there's nothing fun to do. This so this mo this may postpone my weekly segment. Hopefully it won't. Um, so yeah, if I'm not able to do the weekly segment on Monday morning, I'll do it. I'll release it on Tuesday morning, and this will of course be due to camping, which is a giant waste of time. Um, I'll probably have to leave my tablet at home and work on paper, like a schmuck. <laughs> This might be it might be a good chance for me to to work on paper and just hang out and relax. Um 
I don't know. I don't want to do it. I'd rather stay home and draw by myself. Honestly, let my kids go with my wife, but I'm a dad. So I have to be there. I don't, I'm so not looking forward to this. I don't want to camp at all. I don't want to sleep in a tent. I don't, I don't want, I, I want to have chargers available. I want to be able to use my tablet. So I'm dreading this anyhow. So that'll be fun. All right. My major goals. Getting Astro Pig published. I want the merchandise. I want everything. I want Astro Pig to be a big, big deal. Sorry about the background noise. I'm, it's, it's hot in here. I'm drinking water. Oh, I am fully clothed, by the way. Um, fully clothed this time. Uh, I appreciate you putting up with me in my boxers last time. It was very hot. And I, for some reason, it's still hot as heck in here. My major goal is getting Astro Pig published. I want him to be in a plushie. I want to see backpacks with the 06 on the back. I want this. I want him to be huge. Another major goal is building my, or really building the independent community, but specifically I, I want to build my community as well, my Discord community, which you're welcome to be a part of. Just you know, let me know you want in. Um, I want to build that, and not just qu uh, quantity of people. That's not really my priority. It's more about quality of the people there and um, the quality of output, and I think, those are really doing well. Anyhow, and my last major goal is to be uh, to do mentorship with people. Um, and I think I've found someone to replace Brendan. Uh, but I, I don't want to announce that yet. All right, so the personal artist inventory challenge for this week. My projects are, of course, Astro Pig. First and foremost, foremost and community building. Killer Wolf is not on this week. That's in uh, Comic Central's hands, and I think it's moving forward. They had a little little obstacle with um, <laughs> they got banned or they got suspended from Twitter recently uh, because they had changed. I don't know why. I don't know why they did this, but Lee told me that they changed their birth date on Twitter to like last year or something like that. <laughs> it's so their account got suspended until they cleared up <laughs> the age of Comic Central. Uh, maybe they changed it because that's when it was founded. That would make sense. All right, so let's start off with the obstacles here. The obstacles to Astro Pig. This was interesting. Now, last week I mentioned taking a chunk of time off of work to work on Astro Pig. And I actually had an opportunity this past Monday to to do that. I took the day. My wife stayed home. Um, she had a really crummy night on Sunday night. Like I, I think I've told you guys that she has some medical issues. Sunday night she got really hardly any sleep. And I, I, I decided I'll stay home with her to kind of support her and make sure she's doing okay. And she was all right. Um, but that gave me an opportunity to really spend the entire day working on Astro Pig. And from about after I dropped off the kids from about eight o'clock to 11 o'clock, I worked on uh, Astro Pig um, solidly. It did really well. I think I, I don't think I had any music on nothing. I was just working in silence, like work, 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 work. And then I finished, I finished up a, a page that I had been stuck on all that week, a prior week. And then what did I do after that? So I, I hit this point where I was like, okay, that's done and that's complete, right? And then that like that drive just vanished. Basically, I was like, that's done. It's eleven o'clock. That's my lunchtime. Usually at work, that's my lunch. And then um, and also, just side thing here, I, I I dressed for work that day. I came home and I stayed in my work clothes to kind of trick myself into uh, feeling like I was at work. When I got home, I had my work shoes on. I dropped I dropped my kids off, came home in my work shoes. And at work, I keep my shoes on, obviously. And I came home and I took them off and I put slippers on. And as I was doing that, I'm like, I probably shouldn't do this because I'm getting too comfortable. I should feel like I'm at work. But I left my slippers on. And uh, that might have been this. That might have been the piece, the one piece that started to erode my work day of working on Astro Pig. But from eight o'clock to eleven o'clock, I was doing great. Eleven o'clock. I thought, you know what? It's lunchtime. Let me just check in with my wife, make sure she's doing okay. She was just watching TV and hanging out. She was fine. But I was like, you yeah, know, I'll have lunch and hang out with her. And I easily could have gone to the to the kitchen and found something and gotten back to work. But I said, you know what? Do you wanna? Do you want me to get anything, you know, for lunch? And she said, I'll get whatever you want, or I'll, I'll have whatever you have. And so I went to Chipotle, which right right away there's like 20 minutes gone to drive there and drive back. And, um, 
and then she was like, actually, I want, I want uh, Panera, another very hippie, douchey place. Um, so she got Panera. I got Chipotle. That added on a little bit of time. Drove home, and I didn't work and eat. I ate, and I ate a lot. I, I didn't realize you, you could get a bowl of stuff. I thought it had to be in a shell, and by the time I get home, the shell's always like wet and soggy. So I figured out you can buy a bowl of junk, like, like just food, right, of all the Chipotle goodness. So I was excited. Plus, I got like two bags of their tortilla chips, which were amazing. So I drove home and I ate for a long time. I absolutely binged on Chipotle because I was so excited. And uh, more on that later because I paid the price for that. But I never got back into the, I never really got back into the groove of working because I sat on the couch with my tablet trying to work while we watched, uh, I don't know what it was, but something. And of course, I can't. I cannot do both things at once effectively. And uh, eventually, I closed my tablet and just kind of sat there with her. And uh, I stopped working altogether. And I think half an hour before it was time to get the kids, she put on some show. I think it was a. Uh, I don't know what it was, but it was something stupid. And it was a show about a nurse who travels back in time. And. <laughs> And gets involved in some Irish war or something like that. I don't know what it is. I think it's called the Outliers or the Outlanders or something like that. I think it's on Hulu. I don't know. Whatever. So some stupid show she put on, and I was like, okay, no excuses now. I need to get away from this. So I came back in the office, and I started tearing away at Astro Pig. And in half an hour, I actually got a lot of a lot done. Um, that really set me up for the rest of the week. So I'm glad I was able to get back on track, but I really wasted like two and a half, maybe three hours. And uh, that sucks, um, obviously. So I wasted about half the day, half the day. Um, yeah, that's that. So uh, some regret there, some regret there, but I got back on track. I also wasted some more time this week playing Minecraft. We got a new Xbox a couple weeks ago. And it's you know I I realize that I've been playing the wrong version of Minecraft with my daughter, so now we realize that there's the aquatic update. So she and I spent a little bit of time playing, but then I actually spent some of my own time playing a couple hours, out of this whole week, probably a couple hours worth. Um, there was one night, so on Monday is when the I had all that Chipotle right and soda, and I think that night I was barbecuing and had some beer. So I have heartburn issues. I think it's heart it's a heartburn or indigestion. I don't know what it is, but I have some sort of issues where if I drink, sometimes if I drink beer, even like Bud Light, it'll trigger it. And it's this horrible feeling that I have all night or uh, wine. Wine always triggers it every single time. Um, what else? I don't know. Carrots sometimes too. We, we also like all the stuff that I'm allergic to that will trigger my heartburn. And once it sets in, like nothing helps. And I have to basically ride it out. And uh, what happens is, all night, I, I can't sleep. Or if I fall asleep, I wake up like in pain. Um, and it doesn't stop until like two or three in the morning when I basically dry heave or throw up. Sorry, guys, it's gross. I know, but um, so that's what happened. I, I, ate a, I ate a ton of Chipotle, like way too much. And then I had soda. Soda was one of those triggers um, if I have too much. And then I had beer that night. So I just binged on junk food, which was glorious, but not worth it in the end. So that night was perfect. It w I thought it would have been good. I, I worked on Astro Pig until uh, like 11 o'clock. And then the pain was just, the discomfort was just too much. And I couldn't even do that. So I went to the couch and played Minecraft for a little bit. And basically fell asleep, woke up, fell asleep, woke up until around eh, 2 or 3 a.m. And that was my night. That was my, my Monday night. So that was kind of wasted time. I guess I'd be, I would have been asleep anyways. Usually, um, but that was, you know, there, there was Minecraft time. I think I played Minecraft a little bit yesterday afternoon. I stuck some time in there somehow. Um, so Minecraft was definitely on my mind. It's very peaceful. It's very calming. It's very grounding for me. I really like it. Same thing with my wife. We, we just like having it on the music and it's really creative. I like to build things and create things and yeah, that, that game is an obstacle for me. Uh, but you know, a couple hours out of the whole week. Could have been a lot worse, but you know that, that that couple hours could have gone toward Astro Pig. So I don't know. I don't know how hard I should be on myself for that. 
All right. Uh, community building. What went wrong here? Uh, well, not what went wrong, but um, I'm not doing the JP weekly freebies anymore. Like I said uh, last week, um, last week was my last time doing that um, for now. Um, I'm not doing the tool segment anymore. I don't, I don't know. I don't think, I don't know how important that is. Um, and oh man, this killed me. So I, I told you guys last week about the scammer saga and how much interaction I got on Instagram and how many comments and just people really enjoying it. And to wrap it all up, I made a blog post about it, which directed people to my website, you know, from Instagram to my website. I got a lot of traffic to my website, more than I probably have ever gotten. Oh um, man. And I didn't realize it, but that whole time during that, all during that time period, which lasted for a few days of people going there and, and reading the finale, I didn't realize it, but getting to the blog was not as easy as I, as I thought. So I had the splash page, but there was no like enter button to get in the website. It was a slider. There was like a sliding thing that had my projects. So you could click on any of the sliders, which um, wasn't as easy as I thought either. But anyhow, you could click on any of those and go to the project page and then go to the blog. But I don't know how many people saw that and didn't click on it because it wasn't obvious where to go. So I feel like I, w I squandered an opportunity. I wasted an opportunity there to get some people to stay, not just go to my website, but to, to stay on my website, uh, listen to the podcast a little bit or read a blog or um, look at my mentoring, you know, rates and whatnot, including the free option. But yeah, I feel like I missed an opportunity there because there was a lot of eyeballs on my website during that time period. But damn, yeah, just, just you know, I learned from it and I fixed it and I move on. The website, man, the website stuff's important. And the 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 mobile version of the website was even harder. It was basically useless for like um, for like a week until someone told me that they were har having a hard time. Um, they were talking to me about the mentoring stuff. And they were having a hard time finding finding the mentoring section of my website. And I realized, oh, yeah, that's why, because it's basically useless. And if, if you don't have mobile, if you're not mobile ready for your website, your, web, your website doesn't exist, basically. Um, everyone goes from their from their phones now, so or tablets or whatever. So, yeah, wasted, wasted, uh, wasted week, basically. That sucks. But I learned. Let's look at some wins this week. Astro Pig, I completed a double page spread this week um, between Monday and I think I wrapped it up yesterday. So Monday to Saturday, which which feels like a very long time, but I'm I'm working on it in bits and spurts. And it is two pages. It's not one page. It's a, it's a double page spread. So it's I mean it's one large image, uh, but of the of the mama lava spider. It's a spider lava monster. So it's one long image which is you know much bigger than a comic page but uh, but it is two it is two pages put together so i finished a double page spread so two pages i got i got two pages done which is something that i admit I, I like that i like to do that every week i'm probably like halfway through the book now i think i'll have to look at my page count and what i have to complete but i think i'm like halfway through it um and i started sketching out another page so nice little jump on this week this upcoming week uh, another thing I did was I adjusted the font size. I had it at 15. I don't know. I don't know the right font size for the book. So I'm just going based on the look of it in comparison to the rest of the page. But I think that's leaving me with a font that's way too big. So I think well, when I looked, I looked back at my regular font size for Scolder Stories issue two, and I had it at 9.9, .9, which seems big, but um, that's what I had it at. Um, I thought seven was more of the standard, but I, I might be totally wrong about that. So disregard that. But I had a 9.9 .9. for this book. I had it at 15, which is a pretty good jump. And I think it was too big. So I dropped it down to 12. I think the best thing to do is probably print out a test page and see what it looks like. Um, so right now I have it at 12. So I, I adjusted that to make it more, make more visual space. Um, it was just getting a little bit too big for me. That's what she said. And another win for Astro Pig. He has three destinations that he is planning on going to. Already planned out. I have a calendar for him. Um, not available to anyone else, just something I could see. He's going to be going to Hawaii next week. Yeah, Hawaii. He'll be going to Australia. 
I believe after that, and then he'll be going to Texas, I believe after that. Um, plus, I'll take him camping with me and and post that later on. But yeah, he's got some places he's going. I want to ask people. These are all people that I know and I trust with the account. They will be able to take over the account and post on Astro Pig's behalf. Um, and I want to set up more stuff like that. So I'm really excited about this. The community building wins, successes. I thought these podcasts, sorry, it's popped in my head. I thought the podcast, I wanted, I cut out all these segments in part to like uh, reduce the amount of time that you guys are spending listening to it. And I hope, you know, the long formats are beneficial. But uh, I wanted to get down to like 30 minutes for these weekly ones. And that, and that hasn't happened at all. They've, they've been at least 45 minutes each since I started trimming stuff really from the, from the cast. Um, and re- already I'm at 25 minutes. Jeez Louise. Anyhow, uh, community building. This week I shared, um, I don't know why I did it. Oh, we were talking about it in Discord. And I, with, um, yeah, and I shared what my layers look like. I think it was for a coloring or what, I don't know what it was, but, and I thought it might be good to share on Instagram. So I, I screenshotted and fit it to the Instagram and um, got some really good in, interactions with people. It was, it was nice um, to share that uh, in-depth look at my process. Um, and people seem to really get it. Like the people that are into it, they really got it. And, and I think appreciated that. So it was good to get some new interactions with people. And there was a couple of names that popped up. I didn't really recognize. So, um, yes, yeah, those good opportunity. I'd like to look out for more stuff like that. Good opportunities to share in-depth look at my process. Um, and the, one of the, one of the people that commented, um, his name is Marte Gracia color on Instagram. It's Marte Gracia color. I think is how you pronounce it. Uh, he is a professional comic colorist. Um, current, I think recently or currently working on amazing Spider-Man. Uh, look, I'm looking at that stuff right now. He did a Han Solo cover recently. He did, uh, looks like Venom's back in Spider-Man. He did, um, was one of his recent posts. So he, he commented saying like, basically, wow, that's a lot of layers. Um, and so I asked him through DMs that just tonight, actually, uh, if he wouldn't mind sharing with me. And he, he sent me a, a PSD file that I was able to open up and he, he works on one layer. It's crazy. He has the ink layer, the flat layer, but all of his actual coloring is done on one layer. And it just blows my, blows my mind because obviously his stuff is really, please check out his work. It's really, really good professional level stuff. Uh, so I feel like, uh, you know, I have a lot to learn. <laughs> um, yeah, pl- please check out his work. It's really, really good. Um, and it was super cool of him to, to share that with me. So yeah, that was, that was fun, fun interaction. And just from me sharing my process, so new connections with people. Um, people really liked, it was funny that the people who commented, a couple of them just liked the way I had it organized, that it was all kind of neatly laid out and organized. <laughs> this week I also spent some more time than usual interacting with hashtags. I'm just looking up, I looked up uh, make comics or making comics, one of those two, and create a Um Did a lot of liking and commenting on people's work. I, I'm really surprised at how many people don't respond to that stuff. I feel like they, sh- well, I, I feel like they should, um, but you know, it's just me. Um, but yeah, a lot of people don't respond at all. So yeah, I did that this week trying to build uh, my connections with people that are also creating. And Oh, so in the, in the J prime cast community on discord, man, there's some serious stuff going on. I'm, I'm really just, man, I'm happy with this group. You guys are amazing. A um, couple examples. There's a lot, honestly, like a lot going on. So a couple examples. Uh, June Tune, which I've been hyping this past month. June Tune by Harold George. He is, I think we're in the last week of it or so. Yeah, last week of it. He's killed it every day. Um, and he, he did something really cool, which was he took all of his, or is taking all, actually, I don't know if I should even announce this. You know what? I won't even announce it. I don't, I don't want to do this for him. But uh, he's basically taken this month work, worth of work and turned it into um, some really, 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 really cool products. Hopefully that's not too much, George, but uh, or Harold, sorry, Harold, George. Um, hopefully I didn't ruin anything for you. And I just built the hype. <laughs> uh, 
but that is, it's so cool. I, I love what he did. Um, and it's something I'd like to do in the future or something like that. Uh, someone named uh, at by Jason Ryan. He's working on his own comic. Um, he's sharing every step of the process and the coloring and it's, and it's looking really good. I, li- I really like his design s- style um, and his coloring so far. I mean, it's very early on, but it's looking cool. Um, and this is someone it's, it's neat because he was stuck in like over preparation mode, I think for quite a while. So it's really cool to see him really kind of steamrolling um, over a lot of stuff right now. And uh, I don't know what that means. I don't know what he, he's moving forward. That's what that means. I don't know. Whatever. Um, and then one more example, Jack Lenahan art is working on an absolutely killer ghost writer. I'm hoping he continues with it. It's a, like seriously like a huge upgrade from <clears throat> what he's been doing. Um, he's, and I think the biggest thing that one well, really, according to him was he's drawing from emotion. And that's something that we had talked about in the discord community is um, first figuring out what your character feels, allowing yourself to feel it and then drawing from that. And um, Luke La- uh, Lab 5 Studios, he did the same thing this week with his own creator own character. So that was kind of one of the themes or, that came up this week. Um, and it's it's cool to see Jack Lenahan art doing that. I mean, seriously, like killing it. That Ghost Rider is looking amazing. The goals for the week, AP06, AP06, AP, it's Astro Pig all day, every day. Well, no, not, not all day. It's, I have to work but um, and do family stuff. But besides that, it, it's Astro Pig. Actually, that's not true either, because I have two interviews I'm doing this week. Uh, one of them, one of, one's different because one of them is with uh, two individuals who are tag team something, and uh, it's not done yet. This is the first interview I've done where it's like I just I see what they're creating. It looks amazing, and I want to be the first one to talk to them. And I want to I want to jump on it, and that way I can be like, look, I found it first. Um, cause I think it's just phenomenal. Uh, so that, that'll be different. That'll be a lot different for me as the host, as the interviewer. And the other one is I'll be talking with uh, Kirsten again. I talked with her about a month ago and we're going to be going way in depth about personal branding and, and using, um, I won't, I won't say anymore, but we'll be talking more about the same stuff we did before, but more in depth and, uh, yeah. I'm looking forward to that a lot. So, and both, honestly, both of those are, are going to require me to do a, a bit more preparation than I usually do, especially the one with Kirsten. So yeah, those, these last, these might be my last two interviews I've set up. They might be, I'm not sure. Maybe one more, but uh, yeah, these are my, this is the tail end. This is it for me, for, for, inter- for inter- interviews. Basically I'm not setting up any more unless it's with like the right person. Yeah. So two interviews, so besides family and career and the two interviews, it's all about Astro Pig. <laughs> That's my goal for the week. I realized that I've been making up. It's been like a, I don't know, maybe a month now, three or four weeks where I've been, ma- been making goals each week and I'm not following through with them. And I think it's because they're not important to me. Um, so, so for example, the, like last week, the goal was to add something to the blog. And I, I did have opportunities to do that but I, I chose not to because it was more important to me to work on Astro Pig. So that's, I think I'm just becoming self-aware of what my, really what my goal is. And that's to complete the book. Um, doing the blog is not a huge goal for me. It's something I'd like to keep doing, but it's, it's an afterthought. Um, so it's the book, the book, the book, the book, that's it. It's Astro Pig. That's my goal for the week is to do as much as I possibly can on that. Like period. That's it. Point blank. All right. Who's following me? This is, uh, I don't know how to pronounce his name. I never have, but I'm going to do the best. It's uh, Nithong Buttnetta. I want to say nothing but net, but that's not what it is. It's it's Nithong Buttnetta. I don't know what else it would be. Uh, But thank you, man. You've been a tremendous supporter. I appreciate your comments um, and your encouragement. So just another one of those amazing, amazing fans, followers, I don't know what you want to call yourself, but I I really appreciate it, man. Thank you so much. Thank you for the support. Last week, the Lab 5 weekly challenge was to do a selfie. I thought it was public bathroom selfie. Luke did not do a public bathroom selfie. He took a picture with him and his kids, which is fine, I guess. I mean, it is his challenge. He can break. I've broken the rules. He can break the rules or break or whatever. 
So I did the bath, the bath, bleh, the public bathroom selfie. It's the first time I've done that. I felt a little icky afterwards, but I did it. Uh, let's hear what the new Lab Five Weekly Challenges. Hey, J Primecast listeners, it's Luke here again. It's Weekly Challenge time. So I had a suggestion a couple of weeks back from Larocco. I hope that's right, or otherwise known as at Blackfly Press, to do a Noah Racing Challenge. So. If you're doing your pencil drawings, no rubbing out allowed. If you're doing digital, keep your underlayers and all your workings. No rubbing out, no undos. Make it raw, make it real. Show us your flaws. That's it. Till next time. Thank you to Luke and Black Fly Press. That's super cool. Um, I can definitely take a challenge on. It sounds like I'll need to do a little sketchy sketch on the side of Astro Pig. Uh, but I should be able to do that. Uh, actually, it might be a really fun opportunity to draw Astro Pig um, outside of the book. I don't know. We'll see. Um, great great challenge. Hopefully, people take that on. I'd like to see what they do. Use hashtag Lab 5 Weekly Challenge. Thank you again, uh, Luke. So if you're still listening, I, you know, in my opinion, you belong in the community, the J Primecast community on Discord. Just let me know that you want in, in and I will send you a link to join. I want people that are serious about creating and about growing. We have a really, really great community. Um, I, I'd like to see the right people join. It's about growth, not about numbers. Thank you for listening to episode 18. Uh, please it rate on iTunes or, yeah, I mean, if you could rate anywhere else, that's cool. But iTunes is the big one. It makes a big difference to rate. So please, please, please give me a rating on iTunes. Um, just be honest. I don't need you to like lie for me or whatever. If you, if you dig it, cool. If you're not, cool. But uh, give me a rating on iTunes. And uh, until then, uh, you'll hear from me next week. Terrible ending, but that's the way it is. I would have waited an eternity for this. It's over, Prime.